So guys, I'm here back again. Um, I just want to, you know, in this, uh, the second part right here, I want to review a little bit more in detail. <clears throat> so, uh, you know, I gave myself about a couple of days to play around with this thing, and uh, now I'm doing the second part of the review. So now what I'm going to tell you is, um, if you guys who want to upgrade to a new tablet and are stuck with Apple and want to go to iPad 4 to the iPad 4 from iPad 2, then you're you know you're going to get a lot out of it. But if you go from an iPad 3 to an iPad 4, it's only like less than a second difference in everything it does, which is ridiculous. So it's not even worth it to do the upgrade. Now I would compare this to the iPad 3. Only because it's pretty much the same like the iPad 4. It's only like about a second or, you know, less than a second to a second uh, difference. There's one thing I got to show you guys. Like, this is my dating site right here uh, that uh, I made, you know, free for you guys. Just put a little plug in there. Uh, so, uh, you know, www.pairmysoul.com. But if you see, I mean, right now it's not really uh, rendering. But uh, usually it does do a render as you go up. But, you know, it does that with the, with the iPad as well. But, not you know, this would take probably... Uh, you know, probably a bit, uh, yeah, like about a, like a half a second to a second, it would take more than the iPad 4. So, I mean, that's, that's that based on, you know, uh, on whatever that is. Now, the thing that I like about the, you know, I don't, I'm not a big Droid fan, but I got to tell you what I like about Droid is a lot of the stuff there is open source. So, for instance, you have Nintendo 64 emulator that the iPad had before, but on a, you know, then they started, they ruined it by, you know, adapting other OSs and stuff like that, and which pretty much ruined uh, the whole uh, marketing system for that. But this has a PlayStation emulator, Nintendo 64. Now, I'm a big gamer. You know, when I'm on the road, I also like to type a lot. So as games, I'm going to tell you, a lot of people say, oh, you know, the, you know, the 3D games are, you know, are going to be way better than in the Apple. Guys, that's bullshit. Because I haven't had one hiccup, and I'm playing games that are very high in 3D, uh, I'm gonna show you guys like this one right here. Uh, contract, oh, sorry. Contract Killer, Zombies 2, uh, Dead Trigger. All of that plays without any type of hiccups whatsoever. Uh, the Droid market is limited, though. A lot of the games I see on my iPhone, you know, I got an iPhone 5, and you know, I, I only like iPhones really, even though I hate Apple. Uh, the Apple Store actually has a shit ton more. Uh, of games and stuff like that available but I was very very happy because I like to type and do scripts so like when I do my scripts let's say you know a lot of you know a lot of the times in the Apple uh, in the iPad I found out that it was a little bit hard to you know type with the let's see here get a new document yeah whatever uh, to type with the uh, speech uh, pattern. So, I mean, I, I like to type, really. And, you know, I'm going to review the keyboard and, you know, that comes with, uh, you know, that you can get uh, from this. But this right here, uh, when you press it, it's so freaking accurate. It's unbelievable. I mean, I'm speaking from a distance. With the iPad, I had to speak really close to actually get it, you know, uh, right. Here, let me show you guys a little something here. Hey, guys, I'm doing a review for the Sony Xperia S. Here we go, let me put that in focus. You see that guys? And I'm speaking from a distance here. Okay, I mean, this is how accurate this thing is. It's incredible. I mean, I, I like sometimes to dictate, you know, like that. And, you know, if I'm on the train or whatever, I sound like an idiot, so I'd rather type. But if I'm like alone or whatever, you know, I'd like to just type like that. It's it's much more fun, you know, just by, you know, whatever. But as you guys, you see, it's so easy uh, to do just about anything. And you drag movies into this, uh, uh, MP3s, anything from your computer. And it plays flawlessly. I mean, it's insane. Uh, let me show you guys here something here. Uh, let me see here if I got anything. Oh, okay. So it comes also with three movies, you know, purchased, whatever. Uh, so let me just see. Uh, okay, so I'm playing it. Uh, so basically, this is uh, Ghost Rider 2. I haven't seen it yet. I heard it sucks. But, uh, guys, look at this. I mean, it's really, it doesn't do it justice to see it over a video, but, uh, guys, it's insane. It looks very clear, very clean. Everything's great. I don't want to ruin this for myself. <laughs> uh, it's very clean, very easy to, you know, to get around. Now, guys, this is what I'm saying. I am here to review products, uh, whether expensive, whether cheap 
but uh, you know, it's so you guys don't have to buy it before you see you know the the reviews and all that stuff. So I'm telling you right now, the best bang for your buck would be the Sony Xperia S. Now I know people are comparing it to the Samsung and saying, oh, Samsung is better. That's a crock of shit because it's not better. The only thing that's good with the Samsung, like I said, they're both the same. I like them both equally, but it all depends on you. If you're an artist that likes to sketch. You know, you need a digitizer. You, you know, the stylus is not going to work on this. It's going to be stupid. It's, you're going to be busting your screen to get a straight line. So obviously, you would go with the Samsung if you if you want to draw and stuff like that. If you don't give a rat's ass about that, because I mean, I got a Wacom, ta however you pronounce it, uh, you know, uh, drawing pad for my computer, which that's what I actually do my real work in. I would never do it on a tablet. So you know, I don't need that on the tablet. So I mean, you know. <laughs> It doesn't make sense for me to, to, to get the Samsung. I would want something that gives me amazing picture. Uh, it, it takes good photos. So if I ever, you know, don't have my iPhone with me, which will never happen. But if, let's say, it won't, I could be able to take pictures. Now, the Apple, what I don't like about the iPad is the fact that they did not listen to the customers. Uh, they still have the same iOS. Um, on the iPhone, it looks great. On a, on a giant block, it doesn't look good. It looks very simple. It looks like an ABC block. It's stupid. Now, another thing is uh, they have a VGA camera. Why would you have a VGA camera on such an expensive product? It doesn't make any sense at all. So that's why I... You know, I I hate Apple. I never liked them except for you know the iPhone. And we all know Apple does not invent things. They take recipes from other you know from other things and they throw it all together and, and then patent it and say it's their own. So guys, I'm gonna tell you. In terms of phones, I like the uh, the iPhones. You know, in terms of tablets, I like anything but an Apple. <laughs> now, to, uh, for Retina display, everybody's making a big deal out of it. Guys, Retina is amazing. I'm not gonna down it a bit. But uh, if you guys look, it's it's amazing on here too. And there's no retina here. It's I, I, no, I'm not getting it into focus. I want you guys to go out there and actually see it. Go to Best Buy, B and H, and sample this crap and actually see how it looks. It's not blurry as it seems to appear here. It's very clear. So uh, they could call it whatever they want. They could call this the Ambrosia. Who the fuck cares? It's the same freaking crap. It's amazing, guys. So that's what I'm saying. You guys got to go out there and check it out. But this is the best bang for your buck. I mean, I paid for the 32, and people said it only supports 32 gigabytes. Guys, I'm here to tell you uh, that it doesn't, and I'm going to prove it to you guys right now because I put a 64 in there right now. And, guys, I want you to see. I have upgraded it. You see that? Hold on. Let me just get it into focus here. See what it says there? 59.45. I put a 64 gig card and it works. And I bet you the 128 works. So it's not 32. No matter what anybody tells you and trying to deter you away from getting this product, which is one of the best damn products on the market today, Sony makes amazing products. And this is hands down one of the best tablets at an affordable price range. I would say get this over the Nexus 7. It's way bigger and way better. And, uh, you know, this is what it is, guys, and I'm, I'm proving it to you. You can upgrade your storage capacity. I mean, where can you get something like that? I mean, some of them do it, but things like Apple does not do it. You know what I mean? So you got to put that into the perspective. And if you want something like the Surface, uh, you know, by Windows and something like this, because the Windows market sucks... So guys, this is a nice compromise between the two because this also comes with an attachable keyboard that you have to purchase separately. So it's pretty much the same thing except a better, you know, a better market on the droid. So guys, uh, go out there, check it out. That's my review. I'm going to just smack it down to you right now for the final, okay? If you're looking for something that's crystal clear and you don't mind the corny iOS uh, and you don't mind not being able to upgrade your memory and you don't mind spending a ton more money go ahead and get yourself the apple uh the ipad uh apple ipad 4 uh but guys i don't recommend it if you have a 3 and go to 4 cuz it's just not worth it so i'm going to tell you that right off the back so if you're going from a 2 to a 4 totally fine go ahead and do that that's your preference now if you're looking for something between uh if you're looking for something to draw uh you know you're 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 an artist you want to doodle you want to sketch Go ahead and get yourself the Samsung, uh, uh, you know, the Samsung Note, whatever, you know, the tablet. Go ahead and get yourself that. If you guys are looking for a, a good price, 
uh, for uh, you know something you can expand memory. Also, I think the Samsung expands memory too. I did not uh, check that out last time I uh, tinkered with it, but um, uh, yeah. So uh, check on that. But uh, if you want something that you can upgrade the you know the storage capacity, will not break your bank or you know demolish it. Uh, will do a great job in doing pretty much all around everything. I mean, even this thing, the you know the uh, big market with the droid, which is also found on the Samsung as well, I believe. Uh, so I mean, this is the all around best bang for your buck. You go for this one right here. Uh, again, it all depends on what you guys like. Oh, now I forgot one more thing. I want to show you guys. Um, Where is that thing? All right, here. Okay, so I'm gonna. Oh, whatever. Uh, let me show you the speakers on this. I mean, obviously, you're not going to hear that well from uh, this, uh, you know, <laughs> this uh, video camera here. But it is pretty darn loud. There's no doubt about it. I mean, we're not talking about speakers like this, but if I hook up my speakers to this, obviously, it'll be booming. But this is this is pretty darn loud, guys. And I've actually done a test, and I'm going to tell you, I have tested the Samsung. The Samsung I like because they have the, the speakers on the side here, and it's coming out on you. I actually thought it was louder. The thing is, I didn't set my, my volume high like I did on, on the Samsung uh, over there in uh, B&H. So what I'm going to tell you is, guys, uh, they're pretty much equal in sound. It's just the speaker location, obviously. But uh, I would say I got the same, you know, from this view, I got the same exact sound coming out from both of them. So, guys, it's your decision. Go out there, like, subscribe. Um, you know, let me know what you think. Please comment. Have a good one. Take care. Bye.